Wow, okay, well, for Taurus, some of you are focusing on the King of Swords. It's at the bottom of the deck it talks about. It's a very important focus for some of you. Can represent a person, an air sign, a Libra, an Aquarius, or a Gemini. Can possibly be a male or a female. It doesn't matter here. Energy is energy. This is someone who is very uh, controlling. Can be cruel, verbally abusive in the negative. But in the positive, he's clear. He's concise. He knows what direction he's going in. If this is not an actual person, it can be talking about an energy that you possess at this time. Now, let's get into it and we'll put nine down. Oh, nice start. Good start, Taurus. We've got the sun. Cycles. And oh, wow. Now, what the heck? The tower after the sun. Now I'm confused. Thank you, Taurus. Holy smokes. Well, we know that the sun is a bright new beginning, is a cycle coming to a brand new, beautiful, bright, uh, I want to say a, a new karmic cycle is beginning with this. We know that the tower brings a swift ending to one situation, but what has started up, apparently, for some of my Tauruses, is the Ace of Cups, a brand new love. Now, <clears throat> we've got the High Priestess here. Again, can rep represent an actual person in your life. She's intuitive. She hides good secrets, though. She keeps many secrets, but she usually keeps what she knows divinely to herself. She's got a intuition that surpasses anyone you have probably ever known. So if this woman is a person in your life, just know she probably knows everything that you do before you actually do it. Whether that is a male or a female, they're already 10 steps ahead of you before you even walk. So, uh, she is going to be incredibly important in the situation for you. And if that is another energy, it's about intuition. It's about knowing. It's about knowing deep, deep, deep into a situation and never letting on for one second that you knew it all along. It's that kind of deep intuition. It's the all-knowing, all-seeing. At the very center of this, we have the Six of Swords. I'm moving away from something, but it's actually moving you closer to the Ten of Pentacles, a more fruitful, prosperous life. You can talk about family money, too. It's usually a pretty profitable card. And here with the Knave of Pentacles, it talks about moving closer towards not only prosperity, but uh, towards a deeper knowing of what success really is. So I like this. We've got some success, and I'm just going to drop this down a bit so you can see the cards a little better. The Eight of Cups. Now, the Eight of Cups is walking away uh, from something where you've really invested yourself in it. It's a love situation with the Eight of Cups. It talks about something that you invested a lot of time, a lot of precious effort into, but it it's either no longer satisfying to you or it no longer resonates with your life. Maybe you're seeking a brand new path. Maybe you're being forced to walk away from the situation. Because in the Six of Swords, that is moving from trouble 
into a more positive territory, into better waters, into better times with clearer thinking, where the judgment may not be so veiled and where the feeling isn't so rough. You know, there isn't so much seasickness with that card. Now, now we have another ace, the ace of wands. So some of you are moving towards, walking towards a fresh new beginning after you had walked away. Now, I can't really see whether this is going back to a partner from the past, although it can. With the Ten of Pentacles, with the connection to family, this could be a situation where maybe you walked away from family or family walked away from you or a partner uh, walked away from you and now they're back. New beginning, a fresh new start. Around love after a very explosive energy. Uh, the tower brings uh, an explosive situation where separation and loss can be a huge part of what's actually going on. With the Six of Swords, it talks about having to move away from a rather tumultuous situation where maybe connected to love, there's been a lot of uh, hard work, yes, but disappointment, yeah, even as much disappointment as there has been hard work. Uh, the disappointment almost overwhelms the happiness that was in the situation, but maybe there's a transformation around that, or... This is you meeting somebody brand new that brings real love, real hope, real prosperity, growth. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, uh, an incredibly fulfilling sex life, if that's what you're looking for, that's possible here too. Now, let's take a look at some clarifiers. So... Uh, Taurus, uh, you're moving towards a brand new beginning where love is concerned. Now, this can talk about, yes, your career path. Only because the Ten of Pentacles and the Knave of Pentacles kind of save that. You know, that <laughs> that's the saving grace. If this is about finances... It's you, if this is about you, maybe you up and quit a job at a moment's notice. Um, the boss was a real dick, so you decided you were just going to quit. And you stormed out, and on your way home, you saw a for help, uh, for a help wanted sign, and you stopped, and you applied, and you get that job. It's that kind of quick transformation. But that transformation, that new beginning, brings a huge amount of fulfillment. So much more satisfaction than possibly what you were doing previously to this. So if this is a new path uh, uh, for your career or for work, I see, see again, more fulfillment, brand new beginnings, more money. You may have to work for, uh, or uh, move for work. Moving may be part of the scenario here with this job that you get, if this is about your career. And uh, you may need to work, and part of that hardship with the Eight of Cups may be having to walk away from your living situation, from your home situation, from the town that you live in in order to pursue this uh, Seven of Swords, calmer waters, more peaceful uh, seas ahead. And it comes through this intuition, this divine intuition 
with the high priestess, this all-knowing energy. But somehow, it's almost as if you know that I'm going to quit my job today, but I'm not going to have any problems finding something to replace it. Because I just have that gut intuition that everything in this situation is going to work out right. Now, let's ask Michael for clarification. Now, what I've been doing is just asking him, please, show me clarification to anything that's here. Is there a situation here that needs clarity on? Please show it to me now. And I do have the Gypsy Oracles here in my hands. And we're asking for clarification. If clarification needs to be made, please show it to me now. And then, like I said, we've got more. If we've got a continuation for a love situation for the month of December, you'll find that reading over at Vimeo. You can go ahead and take a look over there. If this was about uh, your career path, Maybe you want to take a look and see what love has to offer. I believe we do. We're here. Okay, here we go. We've got the prison. The young woman. And the waiting. So, if this is a career path, you have felt chained to your job, uh, disappointed, um, just probably lousy pay, lousy hours, and lousy boss, just being tied up in a total shit situation. The young woman, she starts over. In fact, she's almost like a virgin. She's so new at what she does. And maybe it's the first time you've ever decided to release yourself from the chains that bind of a, of a terrible job. And you walk into the office of the person that runs the place and you say, I'm finished with this place. You're a joke. The job is a joke. And I need a new path in life. So I'm out of here. And then, it's something that you have been waiting to do, some of you, for a very long time. Some of you have been chained up to this job. I'm, I'm actually hearing possibly as much as eight, 18 years I've got here for some of you. Some of you have been at a job for 18 years, chained to your desk, and one day you just snap. Now, I am not recommending that any of you do that. What I am saying is that you know it's coming. Have a backup plan. Because a backup plan, this can't happen. The Ace of Cups, this fulfillment can't happen. The Ace of Wands can't happen. Unless you have a backup plan, there has to be a 10 in order to be a 1. So, you have to have a plan, all right? The tower is saying there is an instant gratification. There's the end of a horrible old situation and a new situation that is born out of the need for an end, the absolute necessity for an end. Again, if you're going in for the end, make sure you have a backup plan first. Plan B, have a job lined up. Make sure you have financial security before you quit your job. Just a little recommendation. I have done that myself before. You just get so fed up, and you have to walk. Been there, done that. Now, 
There we go. Let's take a look for you at our um, Keepers of the Light Oracle for the month of December. Holidays, you guys, whatever you're celebrating, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, New Year's Eve. Hell, we all celebrate New Year's Eve. Let's be kind to one another. Peace, joy, love, understanding. Let's start moving together now. So much division in the world, in the country that I live, even in this little town. <laughs> I love this little town, but there are elements of division. Let's come back together, everybody. If you haven't been together, let's bring it together. Let's start finding some common bonds with the other guy. Because you're no different, no better than anybody else. Neither am I. It's division is going to destroy us. So let's all start to move back together. Oneness. Let's have some unity peace in this world. And while I'm at it, thank you. Thank you so very much. Now, do we have it? We have it. It's right here. Archangel Michael. Trusting heaven. It says you are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. So whatever the situation is, if this is you, Ending a love situation and having something brand new walk right in. Something that brings you closer to financial security, but gives you more fulfillment than whatever it is that you've had. Something new is coming, and it all ties in with the energy world peace. Word. Word. Well, world peace is nice, too. But the word peace 